Hi, good morning. My name is Destry Henderson. I'm with the U.S. Department of Energy's Emergency Operations Office here at Hanford. I want to let you know uh, what the latest is regarding the situation uh, at the Purex facility in the uh, center of the Hanford site. About an hour ago, let me draw your attention to this picture. This picture was taken in the last few minutes of crews actually beginning the long process of safely putting soil into the uh, collapsed portion of one of the tunnels adjacent to Purex. So let me walk you through this photo. We're looking uh, east. In the background are the construction cranes for the waste treatment plant. You see this area here is the tunnel uh, covered with about eight feet of soil. You see an excavator here that throughout the day will place scoopful of scoop after scoopful of soil into the collapsed portion of that tunnel, which is approximately here. The person inside that excavator is wearing filtered air and personal protective gear. This device right here is spraying a fine mist of water to control dust during this operation. Important to know, again, we're doing this focused on employee safety. There's been no reports of radiological contamination so far, no employee injuries. So I'll walk you over here to reorient you as to what uh, the, the, the overall view of the Hanford site. This is taking place at about here, the 200 east area of the Hanford site. Hanford site is this large area. Again, it's taking place in the center of the Hanford site. Finally, over here, I direct you to Hanford.gov, this website where we're updating uh, folks on the situation as it happens. We'll post photos here. Looks like there's one posted already. So Hanford.gov is your best bet for the latest information on this situation. But again, our goal is to perform this work safely. Employee safety is our number one focus. And within the last hour, crews have begun the long process of slowly and methodically filling the collapsed portion of that tunnel with soil. That work is expected to go on for the next uh, few hours.